So I've had a little bit of a setback for this project. And originally my idea was that I was going to sort of have most of the body parts pre-finished um, going in. In doing that, I had this accordion style sides that I made. They were all pre-finished so that all I would have to do is uh, glue them onto the body and it would be all lovely and pre-finished. When I did this glue up, I wasn't careful enough with where the glue went. So the glue spilled over and I didn't clean up after it. And I thought, well, I'll just sand that afterwards. Um, I started taking off the soft veneer coating um, from the outside and really kind of just made a real mess of things. I also lost that kind of dark laser edge that was kind of nice, it looked like edge banding. And I would have liked to have kept that. At this point, I'm not sure how to carry on with this or if I should just abandon this one and start over again. I think um, after thinking about this overnight, I think what I'm going to do is try and rescue this one and put some new stain on these sides and keep the sides, keep the front and back the same color that I'd like.
it's finished. And, uh, you know, normally that would be sort of a real good thing in a celebratory way, but uh, this one actually has had so many problems, and this one will be chalked up to a learning experience. Probably I'll keep it around the shop to see if I can fix it and keep it as a way of measuring and knowing how to make the next ones better. So the original plan with this ukulele was to try and build one out of simpler materials that um, I could do quicker using the machines that I have in the shop to help me along the way and still end up with a really nice instrument that played nicely and sounded good. And I wanted to see if I could do that. Also, I wanted to figure out if I could make my own neck. So I think I've answered some of those questions and maybe not all of them. I'm going to have to make more to find out. So what went wrong? Well, one of the first things that went wrong was my plan was to pre-finish all the materials and then when I assembled it, it wouldn't need a whole lot of finishing in the end. And in doing that, I could also control a lot better how those finishes would look. Um, so one of the things that I did was instead of having to bend the sides, I created this like lasered hinge and then you can bend it into the sides like that. It had a really nice finish on it and uh, pre-finished it was ready to go. But when I went to do the glue up, um, I didn't, I wasn't good about cleaning off the glue. And when I had to scrape it and sand it off, I ended up ruining the finish on this. So I had to come back in and refinish this. I don't like the finish on this. You can see where it burned through. Now those are just sort of aesthetic problems. But um, one of the biggest problems was the neck. When I designed this neck, I designed it to be perfectly flat with the body. But as it turns out, because of the height of the bridge, you don't want it to be perfectly flat like that. You want to introduce a little bit of an angle. What happened is the height of the strings is far too tall, way higher than they should be. Another thing that happened that really caught me off guard was these tuning pegs on the end of the uke are actually from a guitar. They're guitar tuners. The shaft that comes off of these is much taller than it would be on a ukulele. That meant that the angle coming back from the nut was so high that the strings were slipping off of the nut. And that's why I had to put this little bracket across there to pull the strings down so they wouldn't slip off of the nut. So unfortunately, this one didn't turn out. Failures that have taught me some neat things about building ukuleles that I probably should have known had I been paying attention. 